What's up, everybody? I'm Gus Kenworthy, and I'm going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. Actually. Wikipedia. Kenworthy graduated from Telluride High School in June of 2010. He could have graduated in 2009, but chose to take a year off to ski. That's pretty true. I actually skipped eighth grade. I'm like super smart. Um, but then I took five years to finish high school, so I graduated on time in 2010, but for a while was in the class of 09. In December of 2019, Kenworthy announced he would compete for his birth nation, Great Britain. That's true. Um, I'm training for my third Winter Olympics right now, and the previous two games I've competed for the US, and this one I'm competing for GB. And I was born in the UK. My mom's British. I have both passports, so just being like crazy verse. I mean, I'm half British. During his stay in Sochi at the 2014 Winter Olympics, Kenworthy stayed behind for more than a month to save a family of dogs and others while he fought to bring them back home. So this is not true. This is referring to uh, in Sochi in 2014. At the 2014 Olympics, I helped bring back a family of stray dogs, but I actually did not stay behind for a month. I, I left like two days after I finished competing. I had won a medal and there was like a whole press tour. And my boyfriend at the time did stay behind for like a month. We were both deeply in the closet, had never even at that point acknowledged that we were boyfriends, but he stayed behind, helped bring the dogs back, was very much the unsung hero. I get all the Wikipedia credit. Instagram. Tony Fry says, I'm glad you wrote this. She needs to hear this from others like yourself who understand you're a good guy, Gus. And who knew you could skateboard? This was in reference to a post I made about Simone Biles sitting out during the gymnastics final and taking a focus on herself and her mental health. And I just have the utmost respect for it and think it was really courageous and commendable and put a lot of attention on something that doesn't get talked about a lot. In the Olympics, it's, it's, it's not just like rising to the occasion and, and performing under pressure. It's, it's taking care of yourself and taking care of your body, but also your, your mind and your well-being. So I was very proud of her for that. And I'm not very good at skateboarding. I used to do it a little bit as a kid, but I still got a, got a few moves. Okay, this is a photo I took with Tony Hawk, which was actually like a childhood dream come true. I was fully geeking out, fully fangirled. ERC KHT said, you sure it was Tony Hawk? Lol, yes. George Shore said, no way did you used to play the Xbox games too? I did. Nick Ferris, what the fuck, you can tray flip? Yes, sort of, because then the next question, it's Dean84 said, finally, how many times did it take? It was, that was honestly like 10 tries? which maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but it was so hot in Tokyo and Tony's filming me and I'm so like nervous around him. And so to mess up and then try again, I, I felt like such a like burden on him. And he was like, you got it, you can do it, let's try again. People say like, don't meet your childhood heroes, but Tony was very, very cool. Anyway, finally landed it. It's not that impressive, but I'll take it. Okay, this is a photo with my dogs. What is the other dog's name? The little white scruffy thing is Frank, and that's my boyfriend's dog when we met, but I call him my dog now. And then the gorgeous orange supermodel is Birdie, and she is the one that came back from the Olympics in Korea. Wow, fire, how are your Sochi dogs, question mark, fire. They're great. Uh, one of them lives with my mom and is like her best friend, she likes her dog more than her kids. The other two live with my first boyfriend. Um, yeah, they're great. I Juan Jose asked if we'll get to see me on a TV show again, please. I hope so. I definitely would love to, to act again. Olympics are in February, so it's it's taken all of me to, to just get there and stay healthy and, and get through it. But after February, I am definitely planning on auditioning and taking classes and trying to get better at it and uh, hopefully keep working. Oscar CRR says relationship status. I am taken, I have a boyfriend. Unfortunately, it's not Lil Nas X. Sorry to my boyfriend, but, but yeah, no, taken. TikTok. Maximoff wants to know, why do you look so much like Richard Madden? <sighs> I, I am Richard Madden. 
we're just gonna skip past the fact that he's holding his body up by his fingers. I'm not. It's like this, the scan, the way it works is that everything gets frozen after it passes that body part. So like at the beginning, I'm standing on the chair and then once it scans past my arms, your arms are free to move. So then I was able to hold myself up. I mean, I guess it was just my fingertips, but it wasn't like one hand. I don't know. Maybe I am over explaining that. <laughs> Twitter. At Captain Trucker says, I enjoyed Paul Rudd, but he's cute at best. How is he named Sexiest Man Alive when Gus Kenworthy is out here? I swear to God, this isn't an alias account. I didn't say this about myself. That is very sweet. That's also very false. Paul Rudd is way better than just cute. He's, he hasn't aged. He's ageless. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Moving on. Jack Duncan said, how's prep going for 2022? Repping Great Britain, Gus. Preparations for 2022 are going pretty well. I will be competing in men's ski super pipe. I've got my Olympic spot. I secured it last year and the games are in February. So it's coming up pretty quickly. We've got a few competitions between now and then. And I was just in Europe training, but actually had like the worst month ever of training. I knocked myself out four days into the trip. And then I was on concussion protocol and couldn't ski for two weeks. And then my second day back on snow, I was like, I sort of feel sick. I don't feel that great. And went and got a COVID test and I had COVID. So I had to isolate for 10 days in a hotel room by myself. So I was in Europe for a month and skied three days. Chris, KRXSS. Yay, welcome to TikTok King. So glad you're here. Will you also make YouTube videos again? I miss your vlogs. I only made one vlog. I was like, I'm gonna do this. And then I realized it's like a lot of work. It's really hard. <laughs> it's actually really difficult to edit it and import it. And as I'm like talking to the film crew, that's gonna deal with that for this, but it's a, it's a lot of work. So probably not, I, I didn't like it, but the TikToks are, are fun and stupid and easy. And I felt like a, a grandfather joining it. But I wanted to see what all the kids were talking about. Reddit. Are we really sure Margaret killed him off? I don't really see how he could have survived these injuries for so long. So that's in reference to horror story. Yeah, it's best to just not ask too many questions. There are definitely some holes in the plot, but also like, you can't kill me. Quora, do you know what Quora is? No. Quora. Should freestyle skiing be banned at the Olympics as it is very dangerous? No, I mean, I don't think so. Lots of sports are dangerous. Like the margin of error in half pipe is really, really severe. Occupational hazard. Why is there no freestyle ski big air in the Olympics? Great question. I actually don't know why it wasn't included in 2018, but it will be in the games in 2022. So this February in Beijing, inaugural ski big air event. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. How do I get started with freestyle skiing? This is a great question because you can really get started as small and basic and easy as you would like to. Most mountains have like a, a beginner park. So just start hitting the little jumps and the little boxes and rails. And the one thing that's really awesome about the sport is that it's just like a, a never ending progression. You can start really small and then like add a tiny rotation to something or a little bit more, go jump a little bit bigger. And then you're kind of just like building on what you've already got until you're doing switch triple corks and you're like, well, how did I get here? So yeah, just go in the park. What is the difference between training for the Olympics in England versus the US? There's actually been almost no difference for me. A lot of athletes from other countries end up training in the US anyway. And, and with skiing, we, tend to kind of follow the snow. So during the North American winter, I am still in the US. I'm training here and most of the competitions are stateside. And then in the fall, uh, you, you kind of follow the snow. So normally when New Zealand's borders aren't closed, you can go down to New Zealand and train there. And then I was just in Europe with my crappy trip that I had. And so you're kind of just jet setting all over the place to follow snow and train and train in a gym. So my, uh, my training hasn't really changed a lot, just different flag. What's it like to be an Olympic athlete after winning or not winning the Olympics? 
well, I've never won the Olympics. I have a silver medal, so I don't know quite what that's like. But I had a I had a realization in, in 2018 that like it kind of doesn't change anything. I feel like you put so much emphasis on this thing and you train your whole life and you're so hyper focused. But ultimately, like win or lose, it doesn't change who you are, what your values are, the people that are in your life, the people that mean the most to you. And all those things are so much more important than this like one moment that's fleeting. But it definitely it presents some cool opportunities and it's a nice pat on the back after working hard. So but I'm trying not to stress about it, so I think it's it doesn't matter. Who cares? So what? Who cares? What do Olympians eat during the Olympics to keep their energy so high? Sugar. I don't know. I don't think the energy is so high. I think you're just it's you're just kind of like on track with whatever your diet is. It's 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 really different depending on what sport you do. If you're an endurance athlete versus uh, an athlete that needs a lot of strength, it's like the the diets would be completely different. Our sport doesn't really matter that much, so kind of eat whatever I want. What separates a two-time Olympian from a one-time Olympian? Well, the two-time Olympian's gone to another Olympics. All right, that was it. That's actually me. It was really fun. Thank you guys for all the questions. I'm done here, so I'll see you at the Olympics. Peace.